Hi everyone, in today's lesson we're going to talk about how to perform mix operations with polynomials. And we have to remember um, an old acronym, PEMDAS, parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, adding, and subtracting. Now when you get to multiplying and dividing, it must be done in order from left to right. What that means is if division comes first, you would do that, then multiplication, and vice versa. Same thing for addition and subtraction. So let's take a look at example number one and see if we can use PEMDAS to solve it. So it looks like we're doing 5 plus 2 times x minus 1 squared. Now a lot of people want to do 5 plus 2, then multiply, then square. A lot of people want to go in order, but unfortunately we can't do that. We have to use PEMDAS. So I'm actually just going to rewrite this in an easier way so it's clearer to see. Do you agree that I've done nothing but put a multiplication dot in between the 2 and the parentheses? And that's really what's happening. It's 2 times this squared. So now it's really clear to see what I need to do first. Parentheses would be done first if I could do any operation in here, but I can't take x and subtract 1, so I can't do that. Is there an exponent? Absolutely, there's an exponent right here. So technically, this needs to be done first. So let's do that. We know that x minus 1 squared is the same thing as saying x minus 1 times x minus 1. And then we will double distribute. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 1 is negative x. Negative 1 times x is negative x. And then negative 1 times a negative 1 is a positive. And when we combine these two like terms, we have x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay, so now I'm going to just bring down everything else that I have. So I have 5 plus 2 times this. So now what comes next? It looks like I have 5 plus 2 times all of this. But it looks like in order of PEMDAS, I'm going to have to multiply before I add. So I'm going to distribute or multiply this 2 into everything in here. So it's 2x squared minus 4x plus 2. And then I'm going to just bring down this 5. And now I'm going to just add like normal, add and subtract any like terms, I see a 5 and a 2. So my final answer is 2x squared minus 4x plus 7 because 5 plus 2 is 7. Okay, let's look at example number 2. So in example number 2, I'm thinking that I cannot subtract yet but I will have to square first because that's an exponent. But you see how there was a number in front of the parentheses here, which was 2? What's the number in front of the parentheses here? You should be saying a negative 1. So 6x minus 1 times 5x plus 2 squared. So technically, there's like a negative 1 times that thing squared. We're still going to do the same concept like we did here. We're still going to square first, but then instead of multiplying by 2, we're going to multiply by negative 1 and then add that 6x. So in order, we're going to do the exponents first. 5x plus 2 times 5x plus 2. And then we'll double distribute. 5x times 5x is 25 x squared because you do the outside with the outside 5 times 5 x times x is x squared then we'll do 5x times 2 is 10x 2 times 5x is 10x and 2 times 2 is 4 and again these are my like terms in the middle so I have 25x squared plus 20x plus 14, uh, excuse me, plus 4. And then I can bring down everything else. I have a 6x minus 1 times all this. So we're going to distribute that negative 1 
So negative 1 times 25x squared is negative 25x squared. Then I'm left with negative 20x and negative 4. And then I bring down the 6x. And now my like terms are a positive 6x and a negative 20x. So my answer is negative 25x squared minus 14x minus 4. I got negative 14x by taking 6 and adding a negative 20. Okay, um, so what I'd like you to do on your own is take a look at number three and number four and see what we would do first and figure out if you can simplify these using PEMDAS. All right, so we're going to do number three and number four for homework. And now let's move on to the next page. Okay, so... Given the following functions, f of x and g of x, determine the polynomial in standard form. And what standard form means is just highest exponent first. And then so far, so forth, and so forth. You do the highest and the second highest, and so on and so on. So what am I asking you to do here? I'm asking you to take f of x and add it to 2 times g of x squared. Okay, so let's write that. f of x is 2x minus 1. I could even put it in parentheses. So that's f of x plus 2 times g of x squared. And it looks like this is g of x. g of x is 3x squared minus 5x plus 4. So what would you do first? You know what, I'm going to just rewrite this so it looks a little neater. Okay, so what would you do first? PEMDAS, P, E, exponent, multiply, then add. So I'd like you to simplify this by yourselves. This 3x squared minus 5x plus 4 squared could be a little bit tricky, but remember, squaring something means to multiply it by itself. So this times this. You're just going to triple distribute. Basically, you're going to multiply 3 by everything in here, this by everything in here, and that by everything in there. Okay, and then the last problem, what am I asking you to do? Take f of x times g of x. So what's f of x? f of x is 2x minus 1. So let's do that. 2x minus 1 times g of x, which is 3x squared minus 5x plus 4. That times minus f of x plus g of x. So, obviously we would start with the large parentheses first. I call the brackets here large parentheses. So we could add this, then we multiply this, and then distribute the negative, and solve. So I'd like you to try to see what you can do on these problems, okay? So we'll say that this is also homework and that this one here is also homework. And we're going to go over all of it in class, but I want to see what you can do on your own. All right, make sure you're following PEMDAS. All right, have a good night.